All right, we are here at the Sleep Inn by the Norfolk Airport here in Norfolk, Virginia. And we're going to be taking a tour of room 224. So, we will go ahead and enter. This is my first time ever staying at a Sleep Inn, which is one of the many uh, brands that is run by Choice Hotels. So I'll let this door close, and I actually just pulled my back in here a couple seconds ago and pulled my camcorder right out after I turned the lights on. I haven't really looked around this room myself, so I'll do it with you, live on camera. Let's see what we got here. First off, security, check, check. We got two solid locks, the people so you can see in the hallway, and a clearly readable fire map. So they're well taken care of in the security department. Then of course they post the maximum rates they can charge here. Has $350. I'm here on business, but with a quick search on Hotels.com and a couple other websites, it looks like this range is anywhere from $60 to $100. So it's a pretty reasonably priced place. So as you turn out and look into the rest of the room, one feature you see right away is that we do have a connecting door to the room next door. So I guess you can get joining rooms here if you really want them. There's a thermostat on the wall heat off cool it doesn't really do anything at all so far as I can tell my guess would be that at some point they had this wired up to the wall unit over there but they just gave it up and didn't want to take the thermostat off the wall so this doesn't actually do anything which is a little confusing I was over here like why won't the air conditioning turn on then I realized that we're actually using the control on the unit itself so just a little quirk there Aside from that, though, again, for sort of like a uh, budget-minded room, we're looking pretty good here. I mean, we sort of got the uh, late 1980s theme going on with these fluorescent lights that run down both sides of the room with the uh, wood grain on the front. That's kind of neat right there, too. I do like the built-in furniture, even though it's a little bit dated. It's all in good shape. And it still looks relatively fresh. Got a nice new TV here, too, which helps uh, make the room look a little bit more modern. Plenty of storage space in these drawers here. I feel like it's looking at a menu. Oops. Uh, yeah, I guess this is all we could order up to your room. My guess would be that this is the restaurant in the lobby, though I don't really know. I'm sort of in and out of this place, so I haven't had much of a chance to look around. One thing that's very unique about this property is it's not just a sleep-in. It's actually a hybrid sleep-in and quality suites. Both Choice Hotels brands, both in the same building, but one wing is the quality suites, one wing is a sleep-in. So I've never seen that before, actually. I don't know if that was like an experimental thing they tried when they built this place, or uh, if it's something they're still doing today. Never seen it before, though. We got our complimentary coffee supplies here. decent amount of condiments and everything. It'd be nice if they gave you a lid for these cups, though. You can take it to go in the morning. But everything here looks nice and clean. So, no complaints there. Got your phone here. Little mini fridge up on top of the shelf, which is nice and clean. It's been recently defrosted. So again, no issues there. And you got your little closet rack here in the back. Pretty neat little uh, built-in furniture they got going on here. Then this is the wall unit I pointed out before, which is not connected to the thermostat over there. It's a little bit noisy, but it's doing a nice job cooling the room down. They actually had it turned off, or it was on um, fan-only mode when I came in. But uh, it's catching up very quickly. Outside, you won't be able to see much of anything because it's nighttime. But uh, just a parking lot and an empty lot next door. And you can actually see the... Uh, quality inside through the trees there. The sleep inside is below it, but you can't really see too well from this angle. It's on a busy road, but for whatever reason, the lots around here are all vacant, so it's kind of sitting by itself, actually. There's really nothing in, like, walking distance as far as I can see. Anyway, on the back side of the room, we have the bed with another one of these wall-to-wall -wall fluorescent lights up on top to kind of match the theme on this side. The bedding looks a little bit dated, but uh, as far as I can tell at a quick glance, it looks nice and clean. So we got this little uh, 
top thing. Then a down comforter without a duvet cover on it. And the bottom sheet. Not sure what we got going on there. It looks like that's just like a permanent stain. But uh, everything here looks freshly washed and clean. So again, while this is a little bit dated and it's fallen out of favor in the industry, you know, versus like all white linens that you find on most modern hotel beds. Looks nice and clean. The mattress feels comfortable. Had a quick touch and, well, doesn't have a whole lot of support to it, but it's not a bad bed. It's passable. Got your alarm clock over there, which thankfully is set to the right time. One of my pet peeves when it's not, so thumbs up there. Got a little thing you can place on the bed if you want your linens changed. So really, that's about it. Just like a, a very late 80s, early 90s looking hotel room that's been kept up reasonably well. Carpet leaves a little bit to be desired. There's a couple little maintenance issues like the wallpaper peeling over there. But for a budget hotel, this can all be lived with. Now, one of the more interesting things I noticed at my quick glance around is this feature back here, which I've seen at other sleep-ins and tours and pictures. See that little thing that arches out right there? What that actually is, is the shower stall. You can see that's where it arches back and sticks into uh, the room. And then instead of having a standard door, you have a pocket door that you can close to get privacy in the bathroom. It's a very distinct sleep-in thing. I've never seen this anywhere else. And then your sink is outside of the bathroom here, which is nicely maintained. They have little lids on these things so you can tell you got clean glasses. Ice bucket. Nice plumbing. And two sets of hand towels that are really convenient to reach. And of course, we keep this theme going with the uh, wood grain lights. So, I'll come back in here and turn on this other light, which is annoying because it's um, connected to the fan. But anyway, test out the shower real quick. Oh wow, one of these. I've only seen this at a hotel up in Philadelphia, actually. Or Conshohocken. So you control the temperature with this little thing, and then you control the pressure with the back one. That's a lot of water. Ah, hard to do this with one hand. I guess that's about as neat as it's gonna get. So it looks like the pressure's really nice. The shower head's a little bit um, stopped up and sloppy, but again, for what this is, it's pretty passable. I like it needs a bit of a cleaning. I don't know if you can really see that on camera. But the shower saw is nice and big. The pressure is pretty good. It's a funny looking door though. And then of course you got the toilet back in here. So really, that's the extent of the whole room. Oh, one more peeling wallpaper. But, um, a little bit dated, a little bit worn. This is a nice chair. I didn't even notice this. I wish I had a chair this nice in my own apartment. Tiny bit worn, but looks very comfy. And it is very comfy, so that's a nice plus. This is a nice little area to work here, too. So, I mean, really, that's about it. I mean, it's a budget hotel. It's in pretty good shape. I'm not blown away, but I certainly have no reservations about staying here. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this little tour. Thank you as always for watching, and that is it.